Hello everyone, this is Sachin Savant, your UK immigration lawyer. I am level 3 OISC, Office of the Immigration Services Commissioner, Advocacy and Representation. Uh, today I am going to talk about accommodation report. And I am going to make a big cross on it. This report, whatever, I don't know who gives this, estate agents or someone else gives it. As per the immigration rules, this is not required. I don't know if lawyers are telling you to do this or this is an assumption in the industry or in the market that people have to give an accommodation report. So firstly, what it is, this is what clients have asked me, I've seen several times and uh, then I also got, we got clarification from home office also on this. So firstly, so it is something that estate agents, I think they also send us emails saying they want to sell us those reports or something like that. But nothing like that is required as per the immigration rules. Since 2012, whatever the July 2012, the immigration rules, the five year rule, financial requirement, accommodation requirement, everything came into play. I have never used for any of the applications. We have never used this accommodation report. This is an unnecessary expense that clients go through. I don't know why, uh, whatever is the reason, but don't do that. Don't waste your money doing this. Rather than that, spend that money, whatever 150, 200 pounds you're spending on those reports, Book a consultation with us, take the clear advice on the whole application, on everything that you want to meet on your whole case, rather than just wasting your funds on this. It is not required, accommodation report or whatever report they call it, it is not required. We have clarified this with home office also, do you really need this? Because it's not in the rules and it is common knowledge, everyone just asks me also and uh, so everywhere I hear that and I get those emails from those estate agents or some property dealers, they always say, they give some reports and all for to, in support of applications. No such report is required as per the immigration rules. Home office has also confirmed this. They don't need anything. I have also asked them, how would you check that? They said, we will just go on Zoopla, run the postcode and we will get how how big the house is, how many rooms are there. Everything is there. It's public knowledge. Every every house in the UK, it's there is public knowledge, how big the house is, how many rooms are there, etc, etc. So it's, I know clients many times, the these report guys whoever makes this they give pictures and all of this you don't need pictures of the houses and all they can go in and they can find it on zoopla or any other uh, government websites where what is the size of the house the apartment etc and they can count from there whether it is overcrowding etc etc so the only thing you need for accommodation is if you own the property you need so this is a big cross no accommodation report don't waste your money on this I know I don't know the charge 150, 200, whatever the charges they are, 50 pounds. So just save your money on these things. So if you own it, then land registry plus council tax bill plus council tax bill if you're owning it. If someone else is owning it, if not say family member, then this one, two plus three and four letter from the family member confirming that i mr x own this property i am happy for mr y and his her his wife or her husband to live in my property and that's it so that is the main confirmation once the visa is approved or they are already living all those things they can state whatever extra things but that's the main confirmation they want saying it can be a simple letter confirming you can put in extra facts also how long they have been living etc etc and that's it so council tax bill plus land registry if you own the property and if it's someone else owns it you add two things one is a letter from them plus an id copy so you can so that the signatures etc can be matched so the passport may have a signature you can put the passport bio page where there is a signature of the person or driving license i think it has a signature uk issued ones definitely or outside uk if you are using someone's then definitely only passport use it they want to match the signatures that the letter is written by the same person so one two three four four things if you a family member owns it and you are living in the property if you are owning it land registry and council tax only two if you are renting it then instead of land registry you change it to tenancy agreement and council tax.
and if you're sharing a room i will go further in this so if you're sharing a room this may be slightly tricky but yes make sure it follows all the occupancy laws etc get uh, your tenancy for the room plus a letter from the landlord confirming that the landlord is happy for the other person joining and living in the same room or something like that so letter from landlord tenancy so this is all about accommodation nothing beyond this even if it is a council property tenancy plus council tax bill if it is uh, rented by someone else council has given it to someone else i think usually you should get some letter from either the housing association nowadays they manage it or the council that the person is allowed to stay there i think that's what is the requirement i think council has re some restrictions on how many people are staying there and they approve all of that so usually get that letter etc if not yeah there are other ways but if you are stuck there anything you don't not you don't have specific evidence it there are workarounds uh, yes there is some explanation or something we've done it sometimes we didn't have the name of the person on the tenancy or the council was not happy to give a letter but still we were able to prove it we were able to give the size of the accommodation etc and all of that and we were able to argue and get a positive result so for such cases for your specific advice do book a consultation with us and we will advise once we have all the information customized one for you and so this is all about accommodation nothing beyond this yeah this is all that i have dealt with ever like right? there is not nothing beyond this area is there a tenancy ownership someone else owns it someone else rents it or you just room rent a room you cannot own a room so you at least just rent a room so all other these are the possibilities that's it this is all accommodation you don't need this accommodation report you don't need those pictures and all yeah that they put on those reports and just don't, just save your money on that thing uh, that's my humble advice it will help you save some funds and yeah contribute towards your application fees etc so for your specific advice do book a consultation with us if you do like this video give a thumbs up if you are watching this on youtube subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up click on the notifications icon if watching on tiktok do follow us i think yeah follow us or make us friends something like that and uh, yeah watch our other videos as well there are many many videos on different topics uh, for your specific advice book a consultation for any generic advice you can write in the youtube comments etc or you can join the live sessions we do have live sessions usually on youtube or tiktok so and uh, can ask our questions so just subscribe to those channels and you will get the notifications whenever we are live uh, try to get once in a week at least so and this is all about accommodation don't waste your money on accommodation report thank you very much for watching